Picture this, a brilliant physicist, a mind that rivaled Einstein's, a man who held secrets of the universe within his calculations. Now imagine that same man mysteriously disappearing without a trace. This is the enigma of Ettore Majorana. Ettore Majorana, a name that echoes through the corridors of physics and mathematics, was a paradox of exceptional talent and reclusive personality. His mind was a crucible of creativity and intellect, yet it was shrouded in layers of enigma. Majorana's genius was monumental, outshining many of his contemporaries, but he was a man of few words, often lost in the labyrinth of his calculations. His work was his refuge, his sanctuary. Majorana's personality was as complex as his theories. He was shy, secretive, and socially awkward, a stark contrast to the audacity of his ideas. He would toil obsessively over his calculations, but he had a peculiar habit of tearing up his notes, refusing to seek the limelight for his groundbreaking contributions. To him, the pursuit of knowledge was a journey, not a race for recognition. His relationships with his colleagues were strained, to say the least. His interaction with Enrico Fermi and other fellow scientists was fraught with criticism and alternative methods, showcasing his unconventional approach. His travels to Nazi Germany and Denmark, where he worked with the likes of Werner Heisenberg and Niels Bohr, further deepened his enigma. Upon his return to Italy, Majorana became more withdrawn. His focus was a mysterious project he refused to discuss, a puzzle that perhaps only he could solve. Then, in 1938, he began penning strange, worrying letters to his friends and family, hinting at his impending disappearance. A few days later, he vanished, leaving behind a large sum of money and his passport. His sudden disappearance sparked a whirlwind of theories and speculation, but the truth remains as elusive as the man himself. Let's delve deeper into the life of this enigmatic figure. Ettore Majorana was not just any ordinary child. His brilliance shone from an early age, setting the stage for a life of intellectual brilliance. Born in Catania, Sicily in the early 20th century, he was a prodigy who was destined to make his mark in the world of physics and mathematics. From a young age, Majorana's unique way of thinking set him apart from his peers. While most children were playing games, he was engrossed in complex calculations, his mind constantly whirring with the mechanics of the universe. His intelligence was not just about his ability to solve complex equations, but it was his unique approach to problems that truly set him apart. Majorana was not one to seek the limelight. He was a quiet, introspective person, preferring to immerse himself in his work rather than bask in the glory of his accomplishments. He was known to tear up his notes, refusing to take credit for his discoveries. This trait, while unusual, was indicative of his unwavering commitment to the pursuit of knowledge, rather than the pursuit of fame or recognition. His obsession with calculations was not just a pastime, but a compulsion. He would spend hours on end working on his equations, often forgetting to eat or sleep. His work was his life, and he was willing to sacrifice everything for it. This obsession, while admirable, also hinted at a darker side of his personality, a hint of the struggles he would face later in life. But despite his exceptional talents, Majorana's journey was not without its challenges. His brilliance often isolated him from his peers, and his unique approach to problem solving was not always appreciated by the scientific community. He was often misunderstood, his ideas dismissed as too radical or too unconventional, but Majorana was not deterred. He was a maverick, a rebel in the world of science, and he was not afraid to challenge the status quo. Ettor Majorana was a genius in the making, but his path was far from smooth. His life was a testament to the power of the mind, but also a reminder of the challenges that come with being different. His story is a fascinating tale of brilliance and mystery, a journey that is as captivating as it is perplexing. As Majorana grew, so did his genius. He began to make significant contributions to the world of physics and mathematics. His mind was a labyrinth of equations and theories, a place where the most complex ideas took shape. Majorana's brilliance was undeniable. Working alongside Enrico Fermi, he began to delve into the arcane world of quantum mechanics. However, this partnership was not without its strains. Majorana was not one to shy away from critique. Quite the contrary, he often voiced his criticisms of his colleagues' work. His keen intellect allowed him to view problems from a unique perspective, enabling him to propose alternative methods that challenged conventional wisdom. Majorana's genius wasn't confined to the borders of his homeland. In the year 1933, he journeyed to Nazi Germany, a move that would take his career to new heights. There he worked with Werner Heisenberg, one of the pioneers of quantum mechanics. This collaboration further honed his skills. 
his mind constantly churning out revolutionary ideas. His quest for knowledge also led him to Copenhagen where he briefly worked with Niels Bohr, another luminary in the field of physics. Majorana's work, both in Italy and abroad, was testament to his relentless pursuit of understanding the secrets of the universe. However, as he delved deeper into the world of science, something changed. Majorana started to retreat into his own world, his interactions with the outside world becoming less and less frequent. His colleagues noticed his growing reclusiveness, but little did they know that it was just the beginning of a much larger mystery. As Majorana's genius grew, his persona began to change. His once vibrant demeanor was replaced by a quiet, introspective one. He became more withdrawn, wrapping himself in a shroud of mystery. Friends and family could only watch as the brilliant physicist they knew was slowly fading away, replaced by a man who seemed lost in his own thoughts, his own world. In 1938, Ettore Majorana wrote strange, worrying letters to his friends and family. Not long after, he vanished without a trace. It was as if one moment he was here, and the next he was gone, leaving behind an enigma that has puzzled the world for decades. After a stint in Nazi Germany and a brief sojourn with Niels Bohr in Copenhagen, Majorana returned to Italy. He was more withdrawn, more reclusive, and was working on a project he refused to discuss. His behavior was enigmatic, even for a genius of his caliber. And then, in 1938, Majorana sent a series of odd, cryptic letters to those close to him. These missives were filled with hints of his impending disappearance. One of these letters was to his dear friend and colleague Enrico Fermi. The letter was unsettling, filled with cryptic phrases and a sense of foreboding. It was as if Majorana was saying a final goodbye. Days after these letters were sent, Majorana vanished. He left behind his passport and a considerable sum of money, but no note, no explanation. This wasn't a man who had left on a whim. This was a man who had meticulously planned his disappearance. As the news of his disappearance spread, theories began to circulate. Some believed he had committed suicide, unable to cope with the stress of his genius. Others proposed that he had gone into seclusion, living a quiet life away from the prying eyes of the world. But none of these theories could be substantiated. There was no body, no witness reports, no traces of Majorana. He had simply vanished. Despite countless investigations and numerous leads, the fate of Ettore Majorana remains a mystery. His disappearance is as enigmatic as the man himself. His life was a testament to the power of the human mind, and his disappearance a testament to its mysteries. As we delve deeper into the life and work of this brilliant physicist, we are left with more questions than answers. The world was left with one question. What happened to Ettore Majorana? Majorana's disappearance sparked a flurry of theories. Some believed he committed suicide, others thought he lived in seclusion, but the truth remains elusive. This brilliant mind, known for his unique approach to physics and mathematics, vanished without a trace. Did he take his own life, unable to bear the weight of his genius or the harsh criticism he often faced from peers? Or did he choose to escape the world, seeking solace in seclusion, continuing his work away from the prying eyes of society? Some even suggest abduction, a forced disappearance due to his groundbreaking work. Could his knowledge have made him a target? Could he have been coerced into working on projects in the shadows, his genius exploited by forces unknown? Or perhaps he simply wished to start anew, leaving behind a life that didn't satisfy him? These theories, as intriguing as they are, offer no definitive answers. They only serve to deepen the enigma that is Majorana. The mystery of Ettore Majorana remains unsolved. What do you think happened to this enigmatic genius? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing mysteries.